Hey guys, this is René on a Sunday, so it means another update on the live trading account. And um, the previous week has been profitable again after a um, drawdown. I was thinking about saying a bigger drawdown, but it was not a bigger drawdown. So just a after a small drawdown, the last week was profitable again. So let's have a look at what happened. Um, let's have a look at the indices first to figure out if they were positive or negative. And we can clearly see, for example, the German index was positive. And I think overall there should be profits here in the German index. It made 1.3% in this week, which is um, yeah, around 200 50 points roughly. Then the US index was, uh, looks like it was more or less uh, break even here. So oh, also a bit positive, 0.7% profit for the US index. And then we had US tech. And US tech was by no means um, profitable in the last week. So if we have a look at this, we can see the week started here. The market went up a bit, 1.6%. And then went down a lot, 4.3%, then recovered a bit. So to overall, the um, US tech lost another 2.8% in the last week. And this was just the continuation of this move that we saw before. So from the very top, so from the highest point, which was also the all-time high, of course, it lost around 10%. Yeah, not, not completely, but almost 10%. And this is important to, uh, to have in the back of um, your, my mind if we have a look at the overall performance of the account because the account is yeah, it's really dependent on the moves in the indices. And especially US tech was very bad um, yeah, the last two weeks, also the last week. So let's have a look at the Forex pairs. We have the USD Japanese yen. USD Japanese yen had exactly one trade here. This was on the Tuesday, which was a profitable trade. Then in Euro US dollar, I think we didn't have a single trade. Oh, we had one trade, which was unfortunately a negative trade on Monday. And then in GPUS dollar, we saw some more trades. Uh, we saw one profitable trade on Wednesday. And yeah two more or less break even and one negative on Monday. So this should be around break even for GPS dollar in the last week. So let's move quickly to the gold. And gold um, was not trading as much in the last week as it usually does. And this is because the ranges on Thursday and Friday were so huge that the US, uh, that the uh, gold market did not open trades or the range breakout EA did not open trades because I used the range filter. At this point, there is the legitimate question if this range filter is even helpful because both of these trades on Thursday and Friday uh, would have been good wins. But um, yeah, oh, I mean, would not be crazy wins, but they would have been profitable. But yeah, I decided to trade with this range filter and uh, I mean, so far, the performance is good in gold. And also last week, if we have a look at this, Monday was another good profit. Tuesday was a smaller loss. And then Wednesday was another profit. So overall, the profit should be um, positive in the last week also in gold. But let's not assume. Let's have a look at the actual numbers. So here on my local PC, I do have the trade buddy filled with all of the trades. So if I go down here all the way, you will find all of the trades from the last week's already. And here in the graph, we can see there is this slight recovery in the last few trades. And this is what made um, yeah, the week, I think, uh, slightly profitable overall. We are, of course, still in this small drawdown, but absolutely nothing to worry about. The profit factor is very, very good. The net profit is still 12,000 euro. So everything's fine, no, no, no need to worry here. And there's a total of almost 450 trades now. So let's have a look at the, at the last week maybe. So if we go by the uh, filtering, uh, using the filtering tool here, la just the last week, <laughs> okay, it made a profit, uh, but it was not really huge. So there was a profit of 326 euro. But, but, and this is uh, what I tried to uh, stress before already, it was a profitable week, even though one of the most important markets 
had a really bad week, which was US tech. So in US tech, we most likely lost a lot of money and still the week is profitable. And this is my takeaway from this week. So I mean, of course, 300 euro is not a lot in one week, but it's not a loss, even though one of the most important and impactful markets had a uh, loss last week. So yeah, let's have a look at where these profits are coming from. If we filter by strategy, we can start with the go long strategy. And overall, the strategy, I mean, it, sh it has to be negative, right? Yes, and it is negative. Because if we filter for the markets, we will see US 30, I think, is positive. It is. And DE 40 is more or less break even, I think. Or oh, it's also slightly positive. But now, what I explained before, US tech is, of course, super negative. 1.3K lost in this one market last week with just one strategy. So go long strategy, very bad performance. Of course, obviously, because the market went down in US tech. But, but this is no surprise. And also, I'm not worried about, about this because, uh, like, overall, in the long run, in, in my opinion, indices should go up. So I, I'm not worries, uh, worried at all here. So let's have a look at the next strategy. Range breakout strategy. In all of the markets, the range breakout strategy last week made a profit of around 500 euro. But not all of these um, markets were profitable. And we saw this before. Let's check. US 30 had one profitable trade with the range breakout strategy on, I think, Thursday. Then uh, we have DE40, which had one slightly negative trade mm. on Tuesday. Then we had USD Japanese Yen with multi oh no, with one trade, sorry, with which was also a profitable trade. And I showed this before. Uh, uh, USD Japanese Yen had this very good trade here on Monday, which, which was great. And then, uh, of course, we had a lot of trades in GPS dollar and I think one trade in Euros dollar. So let's have a look at this. Euros dollar was this slightly negative trade. Whoops, Allah. Didn't want to cancel this. So Euros dollar filter had, yeah, this negative trade, one trade. And then we had more trades on GBP US dollar or in GBP US dollar, which was slightly negative. But I mean, yeah. 22 euro is more or less break even, I would say, with four trades. And then let's have a look at gold. Gold had three trades and another positive week. Like gold is, and gold and the range breakout EA is just one of the best combinations that I do trade in this account. And it's making a major portion of the overall profits. Now let's also have a look at the last strategy, which is the turnaround Tuesday strategy. And we do had two trades in the turnaround Tuesday strategy, and they both were profitable. And what, what, what is really interesting um, is that in the U.S. tech, we did realize a profit of 244 euro, which is really great because, as I said, U.S. tech lost a lot in the last week. And still, the Turnaround Tuesday strategy was able to capitalize on the, on the only two profitable, or actually only Monday was really profitable, on the only uh, profitable day in this week. Which, which kind of shows that the turnaround, turnaround Tuesday strategy could really work great in the long run. And there seems to be really some good reasoning for trading this strategy. And yeah, this is, this is pretty much what, what was going on in the, in the account last week. So uh, let, to, to, to sum this up, I, I can say that, I mean, the profit was, I mean, it was more or less, let's say it was break even. There was not a super uh, huge profit in the last week. Again, if we filter this, the overall profit was 300. So it's not something to, to freak out over, I would say. The, the account had a lot better weeks, of course. But for me, it's, it's really great to see that these 300 profits were created in a week where just one market alone lost like uh, 1.2K, I think, in one strategy. And it was the go-along strategy in US tech. So even though... There was such a big loss in the U.S. tech. The overall portfolio was still able to generate a profit. And this is um, yeah, why this portfolio idea is so great. You can have negative um, weeks in, in some strategies or in some symbols, and you will mo most likely have this for every strategy because every strategy has good and bad periods. But if you do have a portfolio like this where you have good strategies that kind of make sense and that should perform in the long run, 
then you can still generate profits in weeks that are not really perfect for this. And um, to, to bring the balance into perspective, yes, there was a, or there is a drawdown of like two or 3,000 euro from the highest point. But let's not forget that there's still a profit of 12,000 euro in the last, I don't know, four, four months or so. And uh, the, like some of the most important strategies are, of course, the ones that are traded in the, um, uh, in, the, in the major forex indices. And if we have a look at the indices, and this is why I switched to, to this uh, MetaTrader terminal, because here I have them all aligned, so we have a good overview, we can see that none of these indices are currently at their high. And let's say, for example, in US uh, 100 uh, or US tech, we do have a potential if we make a new high of around 9%. So if this potential is um, then uh, realized as profits in the go-long strategy, and this will, of course, happen because the go-long strategy is designed to do exactly this, then this will be another profit of let's say 3 to 4K just in this one account if we hit the new all-time high. And then there's also some profit on the line here in the US 30 and also in the German 40. And I mean, of course, it's a little bit... Um, I mean, you cannot really do what I did here right now. You cannot really say that there will be a new all-time high because it's never secure. But it's highly realistic that at some point in the future, maybe not next month, maybe not in six months, but in the next 10 years, I would say it is, and this is historically and statistically, we, we have a good chance to see new all-time highs. And this is pretty much what this strategy, especially the go-long strategy, is based on, right? So if you believe that at some point in the future, ever, there will be a new all-time high, then you should be pretty confident if you do trade a strategy that is similar to my strategy. Or at least this is why I am so confident with the strategies that I trade, and especially the Golong strategy. But uh, yeah, let's, let me not um, drag this... Um, or make this video too long. This is a little um, update on the performance. Let me think what you think <laughs> about this in the... Uh, or le le let me know what you think about this in the, in the comments below. And yeah, thanks for watching. Have a great time. Good trade. Good, good trades. And yeah, see you next time. Bye.